Hi guys, my name is Alice. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. This is my first one. Let's get into the video. First, I'm applying a paint pot from MAC. It's called Soft Ochre all over my lid with a flat brush. Actually, I got this brush at Michael's Arts and Crafts Supply Store. I'm just using a nice even layer. Next, I'm using this gold color from the Carly Bybell palette. And I'm just actually using my finger, to be honest with you. Sometimes I get the best application from my finger when I'm using products on the lid. Make sure you use a clean finger, though. Guys, I totally apologize. I know my coloring changed completely. Um, that's one of those things I have to work out. The next color is Saddle by MAC. It's a really nice warm tone. I'm using a 224 brush from MAC and I'm using circular motions. And I'm kind of going back and forth in a windshield wiper motion. Next, I'm using the color Embark by MAC and I'm using a 217 brush by MAC. And first I'm applying the product to my outer lid and then I'm gonna go ahead and use circular motions with a residual product in my crease with the windshield wiper motions as well. I always go in with the 224 brush that I used beforehand with the residual product and I just kind of feather in the leftover product into the crease just to help disperse and feather out that eyeshadow. Orange eyeshadow by MAC is next and I'm not going to use that color so boldly like you see there in the palette. I'm actually going to use a 224 brush and I'm just going to tap my brush into that product and I'm going to kind of feather it into uh, sort of like the above crease. Uh, below eyebrow area just to kind of give that soft blend and I'm using short flicking motions and I'm letting up on the pressure on my hand on the brush I think a lot of times makeup artists don't talk about what kind of pressure you're actually supposed to be putting on the brush and here it's really not much at all and you're just kind of flicking it out and feathering it out next I'm using the NYX epic black mousse eyeliner I'm not too worried about making this look perfect right now because I'm going to be putting eyelashes on top of it anyways. This is more just so that I have a nice lash line underneath the lashes. Apologies guys on the yet another color change. I will figure it out, I promise you. Anyways, I'm using Salon Perfect Lashes. I actually get these at Walmart to be honest with you for a pack of five and they're about $9. They're amazing. They're wispy. Um, they're actually called Demi Wispies. So I like to apply these with the Duo uh, Brush-On Adhesive. I love it because it starts out tacky. You don't have to wait for that perfect in-between, dry, not dry. Starts out tacky, perfect for lashes. And there, I got the lashes on and they look like this. So next I'm going to perfect the liner on top of the lashes, making sure to cover up that lash band there. You want to let up on the pressure that you're putting on your brush as you're creating the wing. Kind of think of it as like you're drawing a Nike check. I'm using Benefit's Roller Lash to join my real lash line with my fake lash line. I really like this mascara to do so because it's pretty much like a comb. Next, I'm using the Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline mixed with the Studio Finish Concealer by MAC. I love this combination, guys. And also, what I do is I take off the sponge tip off the Age Rewind, and I just kind of click it up when I want to use the product. It just comes out like that. So see how this is going on so smoothly? That's because I have the Age Rewind mixed with the Studio Finish. If I didn't have that mixed with it, I probably would not be going back and forth so quickly. I would just kind of be using padding motions, which can take so long. And also the Studio Finish Concealer. It's not that it's dry, but uh, yeah, it kind of is. So after you've applied it, you can then pat the product into your cheekbone as well, because that's going to be part of your highlight later on. And I just blend this right up into my temple area, right past my eyeliner. I really want that brightened effect under my eyes. Next up is Studio Finish Foundation by MAC. No beauty blender here, guys. I'm sorry, I love the 187 brush by MAC. I stipple the product on and then I use a little bit more pressure, use circular motions, and it just blends perfectly and seamlessly into the face. Next, I'm using Medium Skin Finish from MAC. Obviously, use your own tone. I really love this powder as a finishing powder for this look because it gives a really natural finish to the skin. It's not matte at all. And I love MAC's Give Me Sun Bronzer. 
for this look because it's a really, really warm bronzer. And what I do is I sort of use like flicking motions. I start at the uh, middle of my ear and then I just kind of feather it on, um, dispersing the product down into my uh, apples of my cheek. I kind of use flicking motions and then I'll go ahead and use circular motions. This is how I contour usually, guys. Um, I have oily skin, so I've never really been into that cream contouring. And I realize the way I contour is like way different from the way other people contour typically. I just find that it's much easier to add than to remove. And especially with how dark the colors are for the contouring, how do you remove that if you mess up and you put it in a place that you really don't want it to be? I don't know, that's just kind of the way I think, but there's no right or wrong way. And after we've applied those mid-tones, we're going to go ahead and start using the darker tones to kind of give more depth to our contour. I'm using the bottom um, color on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is light to medium. I'm just using the tiniest bit on the tip of my, I think it's 138 brush, just flicking that on, not even bringing it down towards the apples of my cheek, stopping halfway. And I'm just using circular motions to help to blend that in. And I'm bringing that right into the temples, right into the hairline, across the forehead. And I'm making sure that I'm really not going too far into the middle of my forehead. Going back to the contour kit in the pale yellow color. Love this color for my highlight. I also set my concealer with this color. I just love the soft highlight that it gives. I do the middle of my forehead, starting right between my brows, bringing it up just slightly. NYX Liquid Illuminator, awesome product. Doesn't give much texture at all to the skin. Amazing glow. I'm mixing that with a Way We Glow. I'm now using the Vanilla Quartz Highlighter from Becca. I love this, it's beautiful. It gives a really, really nice glow, especially on top of the Liquid Illuminator and the other product by NYX. Adding a little bit to the Cupid's bow here. and a tiny, tiny bit on the bridge of my nose. I don't want too much though, because I don't really want to look super oily. I just want that glow. I'm going back in with the same 150 brush that I used for my initial mid-tones, and I'm just kind of blending everything all together, making sure that there's no really harsh lines. And then I just take the same 187 brush that I use for my foundation and I just go ahead and do the same thing that I did with 150 brush. And I'm just kind of going over areas that there may be some bronzer that I didn't really want bronzer there. Lifting off any unwanted bronzer. This brush is awesome guys. It's Duo Fiber, it's by MAC. If you have it, you consider yourself lucky because I think it was limited edition. What I'm doing is I'm just applying a little Peaches Blush by MAC. I'm using the natural fiber side and it really gives a really soft uh, effect when you're applying it with that side of the brush. Filling in my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Ebony. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to comment if you like this video. For the bottom liner, I'm actually using an eyeshadow. I'm using the Embark eyeshadow with a short shader brush. Now I'm using Foley eyeshadow by MAC and I'm just going directly underneath the Embark eyeshadow that I did previously. And I'm using a tiny bit of rice paper eyeshadow by MAC on the inner corners. I'm adding a decent amount of mascara to the bottom lash line to give it definition. Last but not least, the holy grail of lip liners stripped down. Love it. Applying that all over, being pretty generous with it too. Next is Cream Soda Lipstick by NYX. It's this really nice pastel, vibrant peach color. It has a really white undertone though, so be careful when you're applying it. Just kind of press it into the lips. I'm putting a pigment by MAC on my lips to give it extra dimension. I'm using gold mode. You want to use it sparingly, and you want to press it into your lips. Not all the way throughout your whole lip, mostly focusing on the middle part of your lip. And just look at that lip glow. I feel like that's going to be the next thing. Or at least it should be. I really enjoyed this lip, guys. Next, I'm gonna be putting Sugar Rimmed Dazzle Glass by MAC also. 
I'm using a ton of MAC products. Actually, I think, hmm, 100% of the products that I've used are MAC. But you know what, guys? Every product that they sell is amazing. Anyways, under my eyes looks a little bit stark. I want to add a little warmth. So I'm going to use um, Saddle and blending it in right where the other eye shadow stops. You want to make sure you're not using too much product and a light hand with this. If you have too much product on your brush, you're going to end up losing that diffuse quality. For the finishing touch, I'm using a little gold mode pigment on the inner corners of my eyes. And that would be all, folks. That's the look. I hope you enjoy. I hope you like the kind of glow that I've created here. And I just hope that you guys can recreate this for yourself. If you guys have any questions or if you have any comments, please leave them below. And definitely subscribe to my channel. There will be more videos and I promise they will definitely be better, guys.